Our original location was next to the Coronation Hotel and of course the, um, the winds would blow down Brant Street through the Coronation Hotel and the waft of beer fumes would go into our former location and Dad and Mom made the very poignant decision that it was time to move to maybe a different location. And we were outgrowing the facility too, it was a really a storefront operation. So they moved up Brant Street to the out, what was then in 1942 the outskirts of town and that was a major, major decision but at least we would be on the same street so people would be able to find us downtown in, in the core. And then they just made it their home and, and we've added on to it over the years, 1952, 1977, in the 80s, in the 90s, we've just kept renovating and making additions to try and move with the times and also to be able to respond to people's changing needs. Example for maybe smaller, more intimate settings for after service receptions, um, for, for make, still keeping the home-like atmosphere, but um, expanding so we could expand the needs and serve the needs of those people that wanted. Now people have two options. We have a, the traditional facility that we've had here for all these years, and we have a more contemporary, open, one floor facility that, that has a formalized chapel and, um, and areas that are larger than what we have here. So you can have the intimacy of Brant Street, or you can have the bigness, if you want that, of Guelph Line. It costs us to be a green, caring funeral home, and we know that, but we were the first in Canada. Somebody has to stand up and make a decision. In the future, it won't. And I think maybe people will look back on the Smiths, Smiths Funeral Service, and say they were, as they hope to be in the industry, leaders in funeral service, but leaders in, in caring about the community and the environment. Having lived here and gone downstairs when the horse and buggy brought the milk to the front door and bringing the bottle of milk upstairs, and that's what it was like growing up here at the funeral home, to the point now where we've got motorcycles and cars and traffic going up and down the street, you know, some 50,000 a day or more, whatever. I think Burlington has changed, but I think the, the real essence of what people's needs are when a death occurs have not changed. They need somebody with heart um, and feeling and empathy and understanding caring for them. So as sophisticated as we might look on the outside, I think our basic human needs in our heart is exactly the same as it was 75 years ago. And we just try and be here to meet those needs and continue into the future to meet those needs.